Hello, 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 and welcome, my Libra Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this full moon in Capricorn to new moon next in Cancer, July 2020. I am your reader, professional witch, professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Productions, the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions, <laughs> but your dad just calls me Mal. Hi, welcome back, my subscribers. You like my new sign on? Yeah, I thought you would. Uh, but if you are new, that might have been a little bit of a shock. So at the end of this, if you feel like it, because you're new, please consider liking the video, subscribing to uh, my channel, Drawing the Circle Productions, hitting that notification bell, and, uh, and commenting in the comment section below. Things are getting better here on planet Earth little by little. You have to get worse before they get better. Um, but uh, that's why we are doing these readings. So what you're looking at here, we are looking at not a timeless read, a specific timing read. We're looking for uh, this full moon July 5th on a Sunday, right? Lunar eclipse, full moon in Capricorn. Uh, Saturn, its ruling, si uh, its ruling planet is is retrograde still, so it's a, it could be a little tricky, but it feels like really good for something long term, right? You're going to pull that arrow back, even though that's Sagittarius, but but then to climb that mountain, right? It's it's a it's a good full moon, but then we're going into obviously the waning part of it to new moon in Cancer, and it's a new moon on Monday when the fires danced through the night. Yeah, look that up, Millennials. It's an important piece of poetry you might want to check. Uh, so what we're looking at is just a six-card draw, six different cards, uh, six cards from five, uh, six different decks, uh, oracle decks, two tarot decks that I use in order to get you clues, tips, and hints. And do keep in mind this is a general read, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, check your other signs, which is why I'm doing Sun, Moon, Rising. And uh, Venus sign, and I'm glad I'm doing Libra because that's my last uh, planet, <laughs> you know, sign that I'm involved with until my Pisces moon at the end. So <laughs> let's let's do this. Um, keep in mind, the more you focus on your breath in the present moment, particularly as an air sign, sorry, uh, you're going to be more in the present moment. You're going to feel what resonates and be able to leave what doesn't behind. Cool, cool. Like you're going to weigh it out, but weigh it out like that. Feel it out. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, otherwise, all the decks that I read are in the description box at the bottom below. I'll call them out as I go. Let's see uh, what you need from my different pantheons of divinity, shall we? Take a nice deep breath. Okay, my angels. We're going to start with the, the Doreen Virtue Healing with the Angels Oracle. My angels, first read of the day. Yep. For the Libras, please. Oh, my beloved angels and archangels, one card in clarity, please, for the Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, this full moon in Capricorn to new moon next in Cancer. What is it that they need? What is the healing angel that they need to call upon? How about the healing angel? I forgot to turn the volume off my cell phone, angel. Uh... I will get to that in a moment. <laughs> Please, my angels, Libra Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, on this full moon to new moon next, July 2020. What is the healing angel that we need to call upon? <laughs> the angel of divine timing. Now look, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> so it's like, come on! I can be a little impatient. Um, you know, it didn't fit my schedule, but our schedules. The gods laugh at our schedules, and the angels are just like, mm, called to the angel of divine timing. Because the angel of divine timing is going to give you that perspective, is going to give you what you need in that moment to probably relax, right? Or if something is going down quickly, it's just how I am wired for some reason. When I see this card, I immediately go, oh, it's going to take longer. But it doesn't always mean that, right? It doesn't mean things are on pause. Maybe it means that things go on fast forward, if not play. Oh, great. <laughs> they just showed me a Sony Walkman. Wow, okay, so, you know, fast forward, but there is no rewind, right? We can rewind in our mind, <laughs> but, you know, in terms of seeing it differently, now look, Mercury's still retrograde, still so many planets retrograde right now, so it would make sense, right? G g call to the angels, like, help me with this divine timing, help me see its divine timing, and when I do that, I tend to get synchronicities left, right, and center, right? Like, my head will turn at... 11, 11 a.m. or p.m., no matter where I am for a while, right? One, two, three, four on the clock, all sorts of things, just to let you know 
you're in divine timing. Uh, but fear and nervousness and impatience can cloud the third eye where it, it really can't see that and doesn't want to see it. So we're off to an interesting start, I think. Everything's in divine timing. And I'm not kidding, everything's in divine timing. Like the next time you take a shower, that's part of the divine timing too. Isn't that ridiculous? The quantum, unity consciousness, oi, here we go. Let's ask the goddesses with the daughters of the moon tarot, a piece of tarot about what it is that you need uh, in the internal, in the yin, the divine yin, the voice of the goddesses, right? The, the, the collective divine feminine energy of all that is, right? Half of the universal energy. Let's do this. What do we need on the inner? My goddesses, please, one card in clarity for the Libra Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. What do we need for this full moon in Capricorn to new moon next in Cancer, July 2020? What do we need on the inner? What's going on in our yin? Oh, dear, 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 do we just have the whirlpool, also known as two of cups. Sorry, that light is blinding me. There we go. Do da, do da, two of cups. The attraction card, the romance card, but remember, it's only a two. Oh, it's the true love card. You're going to get married. It's a two. <laughs> it's a two. It's not a ten. But it's definitely that, oh, like the whirlpool is like, mm, mm, hi. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Sabina, naked snake charma. You definitely, uh, I could feel that and for Libra with divine timing. So it might be. What do we need? We need to kind of allow that world. It's not saying it's going to show up in the outside world. That's the next card we're going to look at. I'm sorry. You have annoyed me. Hold on. Damn, biometrics. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Nothing of emergent swa. No, no emergent swas going on. Look, I'm a professional witch. I have to keep my ear to the ground, so to speak. So yeah, this isn't about something happening in the outside world. This is something about happening in the inside world, that if your emotions are getting stirred in a more romantic, sexual vibe, energy in that way, that's what we take the Two of Cups to mean in general. Uh, but let's see uh, what you need on the outside, right? So you need to at least acknowledge that. It's like, yeah, I don't know if I'm shaken, but I'm definitely stirred. <laughs> Mr. Bond, uh, nice deep breath. Let's ask the other half of all that universal energy, the voice of the gods. Ah, uh, the voice of the gods, the voice of the gods, the divine masculine, the divine yang. What needs to come forth from you, masculine energy, or what do you need in the outside world? You know, what's going on? Please, one card in clarity. What does this uh, Libra collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, mean from this Capricorn full moon to the Cancer New Moon, July 2020, please, my gods, what do we need in the yang, in the external, in the masculine energy, this full moon to new moon next, 2020? This has come up before. I forget which sign. It might have been Virgo uh, or Leo, because I think it was one of the ones I did yesterday, possibly Cancer. The Eight of Pentacles, right? So you, you need to put the work in. <laughs> that is exactly the yang. That's like, okay, you got to put the work in. What does that mean? Well... Work on yourself and not just the internal stuff, right? It's like clean your house, right? I've been, <laughs> the gentleman caller is going to come by. Make sure the, the cat box is scoops, you know, things like that. Like, you know, do your hair. <laughs> like, put in the work, not for somebody else, for yourself, right? Your own stability. You have work in front of you to do, but, and it's all part of the divine timing of this. Look, if this is a new romance that's come into your life or a reignition of one, um, uh, that had faded and has like re-sparked. You understand with retrogrades and stuff, you really want to take care of yourself. You really want to make sure that you are doing the work in front of you. Now, uh, if there has been a rupture between you and this person, then perhaps there is work that needs to be done in the relationship, but it's definitely then in terms of an extension, right? Yeah, yin is receptive, right? Yang is active. So there is literally putting the work into this in some way, shape, or form. So you need to do that. We all do. Let's see what the Ascended Masters have to say. Uh, with the next two decks, we're going to look at the Chuck Spazano Love Pack and the guides were, well, the Ascended Masters, because uh, this deck is blessed uh, for their voices to communicate, so to speak. Uh, 
they're doing it a little different this time. They said the four suits, the problem, luck, uh, grace, and healing. So if you, what do you need? So what is the problem you need to be aware of? What is the luck you need to see? Because it's usually, you know, a piece of luck you might not be aware of. It's a lucky thing. Uh, what is the healing you need to embrace? Uh, or the grace you need to allow. Cool? So let's have a look-see uh, Nice deep breath. <sighs> oh, my ascended masters. Hi. Good morning. We already chatted today, but thank you. Uh, nice to see you too, please. Uh, one card in clarity for the Libra Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This full moon in a Capricorn to new moon next in cancer yeah i feel that uh what do we need what is the what is the luck we need to see the problem we need to deal with the grace we need to allow or the healing we need to embrace for this new moon to full moon next july 2020 I think Leo got this one. Beauty. Oh, you need to you need to um, to allow the grace of your beauty, and that can mean seeing that the grace of beauty is like this is beautiful. Now, not in that sort of New York sarcastic way, beautiful, right? Not that, but that really that there is beauty at work here. That if you're not seeing it, it's understandable if there's a divine timing thing going on here, but there's something beautiful coming together. Um, oh, it's, it's, they're giving me so many, like, floral metaphors about seeds growing to stems and then a bud and then a blossom, and you don't, you know, usually think of the thing as beautiful until the blossom has bloomed, right? <laughs> this is a, there's actually a growth thing that's going on here that's incredibly beautiful, but it's in a divine timing, so... You know, what do you need? <laughs> what do you need? You need to certainly do the work, the step-by-step, -step, the day-by-day, -day, whatever that means, but to also tend and protect. Uh, maybe you don't share this so much with people. Maybe, maybe this is something you more uh, keep to yourself for the beauty, because beauty is truth, truth is beauty. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, <laughs> that was so poetic. Just throws in a blah, blah, blah. To me, that's what the three dots are. Whenever you like write something and you go dot, 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 to me, that stands for blah, blah, blah. Let's ask the Ascended Masters. What's that on the card? <laughs> it's probably a coffee ground knowing me. Uh, we're going to get you a Healing Mantra deck card from the Healing Mantra deck, oddly enough, uh, from Matt Kahn. The perfect Healing Mantra for you. Uh, for this full moon to new moon next. Take a nice deep breath. <sighs> My ascended masters, I see you shaking your heads at me. Please. They're like, what are you wearing? Please, my ascended masters, one card in clarity. What is the perfect healing mantra for us Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? This full moon in Capricorn to new moon next in Cancer. What have you got for us? What is the healing mantra that will help us? Considering the angels are talking about divine timing, the goddess, the goddesses, the whirlpool, the two of cups, the gods, the eight of pentacles, putting in the work, and ascended masters, you gave us this card of beauty. So what what is the healing mantra to kind of put this all together? What is the healing mantra we need to deal with all of this uh, full moon to new moon next? July 2020. Allowing appreciation. The value of my life increases every time I appreciate everything in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, which makes sense for beauty, right? It's, it's like, you, can you appreciate beauty? Can you appreciate the beauty of words, the beauty of poetry, the beauty of sunlight, dappled on the water, can, my hair, which is really beautiful today because I rebooted it. I took a shower, <laughs> right? Can you, uh, uh, Andrew Feza, right? Can you appreciate uh, the beauty of everything in your life. Now, it doesn't, I, I really, I'll read from the book, but uh, the value of my life uh, increases each time I appreciate everything in it. I have a slight, not issue, but like a little hmm with the wording of that because it, it can sound like I will experience uh, the, the increase of the value of my life when it, once I appreciate everything in it, which feels like a very long list of things. But I think that means in a more holographic sense, honestly. Let's see what the bookie book has to say. I like this one. 
and it's very Abraham Hicks. <laughs> rampage of appreciation. Oh, I'm ready for rampage of appreciation. Uh, the value of my life uh, increases each time I appreciate everything in it. So let's make our stock rise amongst other things. When appreciation is allowed, everything is seen as a gift for the evolution of your soul. Everything, even the things that you're like, oh, I hate this, this sucks. You don't have to like it to, to appreciate, yeah, this is making me grow somehow, I don't know how. Uh, the more often you appreciate the greater value you feel within your own life, while there is true worth in, in uncovering your life's purpose, so that's a worthy thing to do, most feelings of discontent are not caused by what you do or don't do. I know, shocker, isn't it? They are created simply by a lack of perceived value in your environment. In other words, if you think, well, there's just nothing here for me, well, that, according to the divine plan, can't be true. Even if it's a holding pattern that you're in, then that holding pattern is there for a purpose. It's like when you're sitting in traffic uh, and you avoid the accident that you never knew was going to happen, but another quantum version of you got, right? Because <laughs> that's how it goes. Uh, instead of waiting for things to get better before you allow appreciation, you must be willing to acknowledge the value in all things. Uh, this will awaken the feelings of elation that are always alive within you, right? But sort of like sleeping. They're alive, but they're sleeping. So, and I do recommend... Go check out Rampage of Appreciation on YouTube, Abraham Hicks, H-I-C-K-S, in case you haven't heard of him, because they've been everywhere f forever, it seems. Uh, at least Abraham has, wink, wink. Uh, this mantra is ideal for increasing worthiness, decreasing feelings of scarcity, and raising your vibration. You just can't lose uh, with the power of appreciation. A little like the word praise, but to me praise is a combination of the word prayer and raise, right? So when you praise something, you're sort of like doing that. I know it's very, <laughs> it's very Lingwingardium Leviosa. 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 That would have been me. Totally would have been me. I, I would have been Hermione. There's no question. Because I wouldn't allow a scar on my forehead. I would have rather died. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Well, I am. I do have Venus and Libra. <laughs> it's not going to be symmetrical. Why bother? Uh, let's ask the higher selves of all involved. I know a bunch of you laughed. I could feel it, even though it's in the future. <laughs> Time travel for fun and profit on YouTube, shall we? All right. Hello, the higher selves of all involved, my own included. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please, can we get one card in clarity for the Libra collective? Sun, moon, rising, uh, Venus signs, this full moon in Capricorn, to new moon next in Cancer, a new moon on Monday, someone go wake, <laughs> wake up Duran, wake up Duran Duran, what have you got for us, uh, Libra Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What is the piece of inspiration that we need, the piece of insight, the piece, the whisper of love that we need from our higher selves this full moon to new moon next, July 2020? Rest and relaxation is essential. I freaking knew it when I saw the Divine Timing card. I'm like, how much are I back? <laughs> Last card down. Rest and relaxation. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. Look. <laughs> Here, I'll put these in a line. Yes, you're in a pattern of, of, uh, of divine timing with something that you're really drawn to. That something really is drawn to you. It's a whirlpool. So don't worry about if the other party, person, place, or thing is attracted to you. They are. <laughs> they are. But a whirlpool, two things are opposite from each other as far away as they can be and are gradually being brought together in divine timing. I know, it sucks, but that's how it works. So do your work. Do your work. I mean, you're not going to, okay, I'll do my work so that I, I'll be ready for it to come in. You don't have to, it's not obedience training, right? You don't have to be like, okay, let me get my chakras clear. Let me scrub them with, I don't know, rose quartz and bleach. No, 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 no. Appreciate the beauty. Allow appreciation of the beauty of where you are. Now, it might very well be. Appreciate this. Appreciate this. I'm stuck in a pattern of divine timing and I have to slow down and get rest, right? Rest and relaxation is essential. Well, but, but that's what you need. That And it does make sense. Look, uh, because I'm a YouTuber and I'm monetized, I'm not going to talk about uh, over much the state of the world right now, but we are in a very steep learning curve. That's a nice way to say it, right? Things are changing so fast. It's okay to take the time to allow this all to integrate. In fact, let's do a prayer for you, shall we? 
a blessing, myself included. <laughs> God, God is all that is. Please may the Libra collective sun, moon, rising Venus signs be blessed with all they need. This full moon in Capricorn to new moon next in Cancer that they may allow the appreciation as they get the rest and relaxation they need in divine timing as they get their work done in the outside world as and experience and appreciate the beauty of everything that they already have so that this two of cups relationship whirlpool coming together emotional attraction yummy juicy beginning polarized but a beginning uh experience may come to them under grace and in perfect ways for their fulfillment, for the fulfillment of whatever this Two of Cups is, and for the well-being of all. May they be so blessed. May we be so blessed. So motivate. And so it is. Yay! You got a good one, Libra. I'm happy for you. Just hang in there. You know, that, that that's why we have streaming services now. That's now. Don't worry. Rest and relaxation. Just get the... the 25 new streaming services that came out of nowhere this week because they just keep seem to be cranking them out like dust bunnies under a couch. So, uh, you know, hang in there. And, of course, do the work as well. And I'm wishing you... Uh, oh, but please, before before we go, if, if this really hit you in a nice way, this was a good reading, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the, the, the notification bell, and comment below. Um, because I really, really want this for you, and I really, really want this for me, and if all we really have to do is what's indicated, and part of it is rest and relaxation, it's pretty cool. So wishing you the very best and the very blessed of this waning moon, this full moon in Capricorn, to new moon in Cancer, July 2020. Hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.